Welcome back to ABC Reveal's SoapNet Sizzling Summer Secrets. Here is Rebecca Herbs. On General Hospital, you always see me dressed in nurse's scrubs. Boring, because in real life, I am a clothes horse. I love clothes. I even design and wear my own fashions. That's why I'm the perfect person to tell you about a brand new show on SoapNet called The Fashionista Diaries. The fashion industry is a cutthroat business full of beautiful people. The show follows six hopefuls who want in to the world of the fashionistas. This summer, six wannabe fashionistas have scored coveted assistant positions and the chance to make their high fashion dreams a reality. Bridget, this 24-year-old Pittsburgh native, is a beautiful, sassy young woman who fits right in and is not afraid to flaunt it. I like this one for me. It's all about me. Me, me, me. <laughs> Nicole, a true fish out of water, this 27-year-old from Queens, New York, is completely out of her league. But her passion and pure heart will have you rooting for her every time. This is really overwhelming for me. And you know what? I have no one to turn to. John Jay, a very mature 22-year-old from Missouri, sometimes shies away from the spotlight, but her inner strength and confidence prevails over the group. If you don't let anybody get in your way of your career, this is an opportunity that people kill to get. Tina, a 24-year-old Connecticut native who's outspoken and energetic. Isn't this yummy? Don't you want to lick it? I think it's kind of cheap looking, to be quite honest. Rachel, this ambitious 24-year-old from Long Island, has her eye on one prize. Her goal is to one day take the reins of editor-in-chief of her own magazine. I've always dreamed of working at Jane, so I'm totally, totally stoked. Andrew, the only male assistant of the bunch, is a 24-year-old from Pennsylvania whose good looks may help him survive in a female-dominated profession. All my GQs are going in the trash. This is going to be <sighs> Jane Magazine. These assistants have been hired by three fashion powerhouses. Seventh House Public Relations. Ooh, oh my god! Then I like the diamonds. Those are crystals. Flirt Cosmetics. You need to know every shade, formula, every texture. And Jane Magazine. There's so much to choose from. I think I can work it. <laughs> the six hopefuls have the summer to prove they have what it takes to work the biggest event of the year, Fall Fashion Week. No. I mean, don't you want to go? It's the community's killing me, so it just doesn't impress me enough. Come on. <laughs> Your jobs are going to require a lot of schlepping. The people who really thrive are the ones who are just down to do it. So you guys get to be shot naked today. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> oh my god, OK. Tina, I'm going to need you to raid the product closet, grab any berry shade of lipstick, a berry. You're going to have to run it over to Jane Magazine, because they're starting right now. OK, do we do petty cash, or do you do receipt and then like reimburse me? Receipt, reimburse you. OK, so let's just get down to business. We don't allow flip-flops. You want every day when you dress up, you must think that you may end up at a black tie affair. I guess I'm used to with college. Like right, well, this isn't college anymore. This is the real world. So not everyone can make it. We've had plenty of people that move back to Kansas, or Queens, I guess, for you. Snagging an assistant position is the gateway into the world of high fashion, but there isn't room for all of them. I don't care what anybody thinks anymore. I don't care what you think, I don't care what Mandy thinks, I don't care. Because honestly, I thought I wanted to do fashion, but I think it's like the most fakest, disgustingest thing. Watch and see who might rise to the top. Yeah, I think I did pretty good. What about you? <laughs> and who might fold under the pressure? Listen, what happened last week was unacceptable, but there's no need to cry about it. It's high stakes. Sweet, 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 sweet. Happy birthday, you're fired. It's drama. Oh. You're here, like, busting your ass. I would be really pissed if I were you. You just told me basically you don't like me. And it's passion. It's going to be a great summer. That's all I have to say. <laughs> it's the Fashionista Diaries. Their journey will culminate at Fall Fashion Week. And in the end, which of these hopefuls will get hired into a full-time position? It's going to be a summer of high fashion and high anxiety. Be sure to tune into SoapNet August 1st at 9 p.m. for the premiere of the Fashionista Diaries.